Hey guys, what is up? Sam or Scorpio here, and welcome back to another Black Ops Cold War video. The game was finally revealed yesterday inside of the Warzone Live event, and pre-orders are available now across the usual retailers and digital outlets, and there are plenty of different editions of the game available for purchase. But which one should you guys be pre-ordering? Well, I'm going to break that down for you guys right now. But let's start off with what is Black Ops Cold War. Well, it's not a reboot. It's a direct sequel to the original and fan favourite Black Ops 1 from 2010. So pretty much, this campaign takes place between Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2, following our iconic crew of Black Ops characters, including Woods, Mason and Hudson, alongside a whole host of new characters as they chase down the Soviet spy Perseus across the world. Along with that, you get your usual high-action Treyarch multiplayer and a new Cold War set Zombies mode. The game's going to be releasing on November 13th, with a beta coming before then, and on day one, it will be coming to PS4, Xbox One, and PC, through Battle.net again, sorry, not Steam, sadly, and it will also be coming to the PS5 and Xbox Series X on the launch of those consoles, which we still don't have a date for. Anyways, let's get right into the different editions available. As usual, you can get your basic $60 standard edition of the game on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. This will come with the Confrontation Weapons Pack, just going to include some nice little weapon skins there for Cold War and Warzone as well, and a pre-order of this is going to give you early access to the open beta, even earlier if you're on PS4, along with the Sergeant Frank Woods Operator bundle in side of Modern Warfare and Warzone. This is also going to come with a cool M4 blueprint along with an emo and finishing move. Nice little bonus there that you can get your hands on right now if you pre-order now. Anyways, all the standard editions will not only be playable on their respective platforms, but if you buy a next-gen console, these versions will be backwards compatible, so the PS4 version will be playable on the PS5, and same goes for Xbox. However, playing the old generation versions on the next generation consoles won't actually give you the benefits of owning the next gen version. With the higher frame rate, faster load times, and ray tracing, it will literally just be playing the old gen one on side of a different console. Anyway, moving on from the standard edition, you can get the $70 cross-gen bundle. These are are all the different digital options by the way we're going to move on to physical options a little later on this is the same as the standard edition however it includes a next gen copy of the game so you can play the current gen version at launch but when you get your hands on the next gen console you'll be able to play the upgraded version of the game with better visuals and performance obviously this version doesn't exist on pc since well there's no pc too but where it gets really interesting is the ultimate edition this will sit at 90 dollars it will have all the same benefits as the cross gen bundle with the addition of a land, sea and air operator packs. Alongside a battle pass bundle, this will contain the season 1 battle pass and the first 20 tiers pre-unlocked for free when the game comes out. Anyway, in terms of what these three packs are going to contain, the land pack contains a ground infantry operator with bandolier and mess face camouflage, the sucker punch shotgun blueprint designed to camouflage and blend in, along with the red bear tank skin. That's right, tanks are on their way back. The C pack features a special ops wetsuit operator, a black tide assault rifle blueprint, and a zebra like leviathan skin for boats. And yes, that does mean boats are coming to the game in both multiplayer and probably Warzone 2 within the new map. And finally, the air pack has an airborne flight suit operator, the wingman blueprint pistol, along with the death dealer skin for helicopters. All of these cosmetics look absolutely sick, and I'd say this is well worth pre ordering if you are specific very invested in operators. As I say, this will cost $90, so you're basically paying $20 for a bunch of cosmetics, so if you're someone who collects these things, then this is well worth it for you, I'd say, since you're getting quite a lot with it. So that's all the digital versions of the game, but in terms of physical, we just have the standard version for PS4 and Xbox One as of now for $60, and for $70 for PS5 and Series X, with the Series X version also being usable on the Xbox One, if that is for some reason something you want, I don't really know why you would. There will actually be no physical versions on PC at all, and a pre-order of a physical copy won't include a beta early access code. So that really sucks, it really looks like they're trying to phase out the physical copies. It's also worth noting that while the physical versions of current gen copies will be usable on next gen via backwards compatibility, they won't contain any of those visual upgrades, and will look the exact same as current gen does. 
But if you do buy a current gen copy on PS4, you'll be able to digitally upgrade it to the next gen version on PS5 for just $10, but sadly this offer won't be applying on Xbox One. As of now, there's actually no sign of there being any kind of collector's edition of the game, but it will be very rare of Call of Duty not to offer one. Granted, that could be due to the coronavirus pandemic, but overall, I'd hold out on pre-ordering just yet till we find out more if you'd be willing to shill out an extra $100 or so for some cool merch items. Obviously, there isn't actually a season pass this year, so none of the different editions contain a season pass since, well, all DLC is free. Anyways, if a collector's edition was to be offered, it's really hard to guess what it would be. The Modern Warfare edition reused the same item as MW2, offering night vision goggles, while the last few Treyarch titles have offered zombie-themed items, including a Juggernaug mini-fridge and a Chaos mystery box. Based on the decline of zombies though in recent years, I wouldn't say to expect a zombies-themed item if they do eventually launch one of these for pre-order. You're much more likely to see something multiplayer-themed, since it just appeals to the masses, perhaps just like Modern Warfare did, they could reuse the Black Ops 1 item with a remote control RCXD. This killstreak was especially highlighted in the campaign reveal trailer, and the Warzone map is currently scattered with RCXD parts, so don't be too surprised if we see one of these popping up for pre-orders in a couple of months' time. Overall though, if you have no intention of pre-ordering a next-gen console, I'd go with one of the digital standard editions. Since there's no season pass and all DLC is free, the Ultimate Edition really has very little benefit unless you're super into cosmetics. But if you intend to buy a PS5 or Series X, I'd strongly recommend going for the cross-gen edition on whichever platform you intend to buy. However, if you plan to switch console family from PS4 to Series X or vice versa, I'd simply hold off purchasing at all. The only reason really to buy Ultimate Edition as I said earlier, is those cosmetic items if you're a real completionist. But all around, there's really no real reason to buy a physical copy of this game, since it just holds you off being able to upgrade in the future. There's always a possibility some kind of special edition will show up, but as of now, it's looking like these are all the options that are going to be available. Personally, I'm going to be going with the cross-gen bundle. I'm really not all for buying cosmetics in games generally, so I'm really not fussed about the ultimate edition, but for me, I am intending on playing the game on current gen at launch and I'm sure at some point down the line I'm going to want to upgrade to one of those awesome next-gen consoles to get all those awesome visual upgrades. So really, it makes a ton of sense and really it will save you a ton of money. $70 for next-gen games, it is unfortunate that game prices are rising, but it does just seem to be what it is as standards for games gets higher and more developmental costs increase. Let me know down in the comments actually which mode of this game you're most excited for, campaign, multiplayer or zombies, because for me it's really all about the zombies, especially on next-gen, because I'm sure they're going to be able able to do tons with the visuals and creating some really horrifying stuff. I'm kind of sad not to see a special collector's edition. I personally got the Chaos Mystery Box back when the last one came out, and it's really, really sad that there's not going to be something cool to go with this new storyline. But anyway guys, with that, let's go wrap up this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more Call of Duty content, and yeah, I'll see you on more Call of Duty videos. Bye!